members of the board uh, of Health and Social, the Executive Director of Health and Social, the good and fabulous Dr. Peg Robert, <laughs> distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and of course, my greetings to you, Alan, President of the University of Ottawa. It is a tremendous honor and pleasure for me to be here in Ottawa, Canada, at the gracious invitation of the Executive Director of the Lesotho, Dr. Peg Herbert, to celebrate with you the fifth anniversary of Health Lesotho. I am also grateful to have been afforded the opportunity to rub shoulders and interact with some distinguished members of the Canadian society who have contributed so much of their time, effort, and scarce resources for the benefit of the less fortunate people in the Sotho. This celebration and our visit gives us an opportunity to review what has been achieved under Help Lesotho in the last five years, as well as to register our profound gratitude to the Canadian people whose generous donations and contributions have made the projects undertaken by Help Lesotho possible. Under the current unfavorable economic and financial climate, one would expect support for charitable activities to wane. But you have stood by Help Lesotho through thick and thin. And therefore, we wish to thank you for your unwavering support and solidarity. The projects under the auspices of Help Lesotho are of particular importance because they are located in the rural hinterland and are targeted at needy and disadvantaged people, particularly children and the elderly. The volunteers who have served in Lesotho, some of whom are amongst us today, can attest to the relevance and appropriateness of Help Lesotho projects and their positive impact on the lives of the beneficiaries. Ladies and gentlemen, the Help Lesotho initiative can be characterized as a unique form of people-to-people -people cooperation in that it seeks to develop partnerships that benefit the target groups directly. In contrast to some of the bigger development endeavors with huge budgets, Help Lesotho activities are clearly visible on the ground. I have personally visited some of the Help Lesotho project and was moved by the testimonies of the beneficiaries who included teachers, students, and elderly villagers. The impact of Help Lesotho within this short period of five years of its existence has indeed been immense. During the last five years, Help Lesotho has initiated and implemented a number of projects covering important areas such as HIV and AIDS, gender equity, youth leadership development, school to school training, support of orphans and vulnerable children, establishment and support of grandmother groups, and educational support, which has included the re rebuilding of one primary school, which for a long time had been rendered unusable by storms and strong winds. 
All these interventions have given hope to children and communities who otherwise would continue to wallow in despair and hopelessness. To date, Help Lesotho has forged several partnerships between Canadian schools and their counterparts in Lesotho, mostly in the rural areas. It has contributed to the fight against HIV and AIDS by arranging for HIV and AIDS testing for children, youth, and teachers. I should perhaps mention that the impact of this disease has been devastating to our economy and has resulted in an unprecedented increase in the number of orphans' children. It is in this regard that the intervention by Health Lesotho is of critical importance in supporting other national efforts in the fight against this deadly disease. Help Lesotho, as a non-governmental organization, has proved to be a, a valuable tool for assisting and ameliorating the plight of the less fortunate. Although it has achieved so much within a short space of time, a lot remains to be done. There is still a need to deepen and widen its coverage to include other deprived rural communities. For Help Lesotho to extend its reach, all stakeholders will have to continue showing resourcefulness and dedication and jointly construct a Help Lesotho edifice designed to meet <coughs> its stated objectives with efficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, as a way of concluding my remarks, I would like to thank Mepeg for her vision, energy, and astute leadership, and for her tireless efforts in raising funds for help the suit. I also wish to thank the board of directors for guiding Help Lesotho to attain those objectives. As I've said earlier, this visit has afforded me a rare and valued opportunity to meet a wide spectrum of the Canadian citizenry, including students, teachers, sponsors, donors, and others who, in one way or another, are associated with and have played a pivotal role within Help Lesotho. Once again, I wish to thank you all for your valuable support. I thank you for your attention, and I would like to say, as we do in Lesotho, Kwato Pula Nala.